So you have a staircase that creaks and squeaks and is basically driving you nuts, waking up people at the middle of the night if you're going up and down them. In this video, I'll be showing you more than one ways on how to get rid of that squeaking in your staircase from going underneath it and putting the screws where they should go, adding shims, adding stuff on top of the stairs that could also make it work for you. So if you go online, you'll hear a lot of different terms when they talk about staircase. And I'll just give you a little bit of an example of what each section is. So when I'm talking about them in the video, you'll know what I'm talking about. So first, the treads, they're the horizontal surfaces where you step on, where you place your feet, where you're walking. The risers are the vertical surfaces between the treads. The stringers are the sawtooth shaped boards running up the sides of the risers and treads to keep the staircase together and to provide support. So the first thing that you should do if the if the noise is coming from let's say you have wooden stairs not nothing that's covered up in carpet you'll have to go on top if you can't access underneath the staircase then this is the one of the methods to try out at first is to first find out where the creek is coming from and if you can get something in between the risers and the threads. If there is a crack in between and you can kind of see where the wood would be going up and down, then that is most likely where the squeak is coming from. Usually you'll need to really tighten it up with either nail or wood, but if you can't access underneath the staircase, then the only thing that you can do really that won't cause any damage, that won't put any holes in your staircase is to use some type of lubricants inside those cracks but don't use any lubricants like WD-40 or any oils because of course there's tripping hazards is to use some type of baby powder or dried graphite inside those cracks where the wood is separating where you see cracks and you know that the squeaking is coming from there just use some dried graphite i find that works a lot better and lasts a little bit longer than just baby powder this method doesn't usually work all that well for a long period of time but let's say you're selling a house and you just want to get rid of that creaking for temporary then this is a method that you should try and it's also a method that you should try before starting to drill holes in your stairs. It's easy. And I'll leave a link in the description below on where to find powdered graphite. Now, I did use that method in treating wooden floors. Now, wooden floors, they that works a little bit better, that method, than on a wooden staircase, but it's worth to give it a try. And if you do have problems with squeaky floors, the video right there will show you a bunch of different methods on how to get rid of squeaky hardwood floors. All right, so now if you can get underneath your staircase, we will use this method, which is my favorite and the ones that will leave less evidence of screws being used and also that works the best, I find. Now, underneath your stairs, you'll find that most of the squeaking will come from the risers and the tread rubbing against each other. There'll be a gap most likely and that's where most squeaking will be coming from. Now, what you'll want to do is tighten it with screws and also use construction adhesive inside that crack between the risers and the tread. The reason why I want to use a construction adhesive is because it hardens over time. It hardens really hard and it'll make less room for anything to move in the future. So what you'll need is to first add the construction adhesive in the crack the whole length between the risers and the tread and also you can use a shim if you do have quite a big gap you can use a shim just to push the construction adhesive into the gap as far as you can just so you can get more in there and really make that a solid block. Now that your construction adhesive is in place, you'll need some drywall screws just to screw the risers and the tread together. Now this will buckle everything back into place and most likely you will have no squeaks whatsoever. This is probably the easiest thing to do, the easiest way to do it because you're underneath the stairs and you won't be showing any evidence of holes if you drill them inside the treads, into the studs, let's say. All right, as you saw in this video, it's pretty simple to get the squeaks out of staircases. What do you think? Which method did you use to get the squeaks and what worked for you? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you have any other questions, anything related to soundproofing, just let me know and I will do my best to answer all the questions at least in the first seven days of publishing this video. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time.